Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to model, model this Pelegrin Tarragon airplane. It's um, not difficult to do, it's rather simple and the most complex part is just modeling this front up here to get this um, little indention and things up there um, like that. But it's not that hard to do and um, we'll go ahead and get that going. Let's look at this from other views. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to do here is just start a new project. And I need to insert some um, pictures here. So I come up here, insert, canvas, and insert for my computer. And it should be on my desktop. I have the picture already. Here it is. And this is going to be the side view. And click OK. Come over here to the canvas, open this up. Double click on this, change this to side. Then right click on this and click calibrate. And I'm just going to make this two, uh, uh, two meters long. So click the front here, the back here, two meters. So it's 2,000 millimeters. And it's big and scroll in the middle wheel. Turn on the origin. Come to the side up here and right click on it and click edit canvas. And I want to put this nose right on this dot up here. And click OK. Next, I want to put the top view in and do the same thing. Insert, canvas, insert from my computer. The plane's already selected. Click open. Click this plane here. Drag this out. And this is the top view, so I need to rotate this. So it's facing the same um, way the side view is. Click OK. Then this here, same thing here. Change the name of this to top. Right click on this. Click Calibrate. And this is going to be um, two meters also, so 2,000 millimeters. So we click here and here, 2,000 millimeters. Right click on it again and click Edit Canvas. And I move this nose up to this dot here. And click OK. Next, we have one more picture to put in, which is the front. Same thing, insert, canvas, insert from my computer, plane selected already, click open, click the front plane, drag this out. Click OK, change this to front, right click on it, calibrate, and just measure from here to here and make that 2,000 millimeters. Right click on it again, and we're going to edit canvas to move it. 
And I'm going to move this to this. And click OK. Now the pictures are in. Now we begin the modeling of this. Okay, we come up here to create form. Click that. And we want front plane here. And we're going to use a cylinder. And we want it on this plane here. Now I want the center of the cylinder around here. So that looks to be about around there somewhere. So that move this out. Look at it from the right. And drag this all the way back. And we need some height faces, so drag this. OK. Give it a couple more. And click OK. Now I'm going to move this back. Going to move it back to here. And do this all the way to the back. And I'm going to pull this forward. Oops. Wrong one. And I'm probably going to put another um, edge right here. No big deal.
And I'm going to insert an edge right in here. First, let me do this. Come up here and modify. This line selected already and click insert edge. Move this to about right there. Click OK. Now, I forgot to select um, when I went to that. Um, let, let me do that again. I'll show you what I forgot to do. Uh, since I wanted to insert an edge here, come up here to modify, insert edge, and move it back to here where I want it. I didn't come over here to the right and change this to exact. Because if you don't change this to exact, it could change the shape here, which it did. And click OK. Now let's do the top view here. On the T37 that I'm showing you guys how to model, I'm going to go and um, do some updates on it because I didn't like the way um, the um, fuselage looked. And I was looking at more pictures, and I even bought a plastic model of it. And I changed some things on it. The fuselage is more square, so I went back and used the box to make the fuselage instead of using this cylinder I believe I showed you guys um, to use. So I'm going to do an update video on that as well. And have a look in the box mode. Alt 1.
and go back to regular mode, which is Alt-3. And click OK. And finish form. And that's our fuselage so far. Pretty simple to do. Next, we're going to make this part right up here. So I'm going to do the same thing what I did before. Come up here to create form. On this plane here. And we want a cylinder. Can this the plane? Oops. Do that again. Okay. Now, from here to about here, imagine the center of that. I'm going to put that about right there. If it's too big, don't worry about it. And move this back to about there. And click OK. And I'm just getting this to the, um, the top of here, shape. Look at this from the top. And what I'm doing here, if you notice, there's a change in color right here. That tells me this is intersecting the, um, the rest of this fuselage. And I'm trying to get this color matched up with this um, ring around here, or the top pattern around here. As you can see, that gray moves in and out. That's the color I'm looking at.
at least what we have. So we click OK. Finish sketch. I assume he finished form. And look at this from the side. Turn the canvases off. OK. And that's looking really good now. Edit this. And this line here. Have another look at it. Bring this in. And you just keep working this until you get it to the right shape that you want. I'm going to insert an edge.
Okay, this needs to come up. A little more. Okay, and I'm going to move that up a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good. And pretty much, that's it. That's um, the hardest part. And like I said, what you, uh, what you guys do, just work on this until you get it um, exactly how you want it. But um, that, uh, to me, um, that's the hardest part of this airplane, and now it's done. And rest of the things I'm going to do now is just um, show you um, the le the um, the wings, how I do the wings, and everything else, and um, and from there on. So, but um, what you can do to separate this too is come up here, create sketch this plane here, and. See if we can project this line. No, we don't need to project it. I'll just draw a line from here. Finish sketch. Split body. This is a body to split. This is the tool. And click OK. And what we can do now is take this let me cancel this. Um, come over here to the bodies. And this is the front spinner. Change this to spinner. Click OK. And this is the body. But um, we're going to move this. So we go to the spinner and move. And what we're going to do is just move it forward. About like that. Click OK. And now you can see that's separated from there. OK. Let's go ahead and draw the uh, model of wings on here. Or now let's do the tail first. Turn the cabinets back on. Turn the bodies off. Don't need them. What we'll do? Create sketch on this plane here. I want to draw a line. About from here to here. And click OK. Look at the top view of it. 
And that's great there. And the back one, we just need to move up here. And finish sketch. Now, we need a plane at an angle, so we can come up here to construct. Plane at an angle. This line here. Now, what you can do is put the plane at an angle from here, and it may not give you, let's see, if I follow this all the way down, it looks like it'll break about right in here somewhere. So it needs to come down a little more. So I'll leave it at six degrees and click OK. Now I want to draw or sketch on this plane. But no, let me cancel this. Okay, first I want to do is draw um, profile, airfoil. So click on create sketch on this plane here. And if you have it, like I said, if you have a picture of an airfoil, just go ahead and put it in here because what I'm doing is just an arbitrary airfoil here just to show you guys how to do this. And draw a line from here, here. And I want to mirror that, so I come up here. And use this as a mirror line and click OK. Finish sketch. Now I want to draw on this plane here, so we click this and create sketch on that plane. Use the line tool. Finish sketch. Now come over here to create, and then we want to sweep. And we want to sweep these two profiles here. And we want path and guide rail. Path, guide rail, and click over here to full extents. And click OK. Turn your bodies back on. And that's what we have. We have that. Now I want to create a sketch on this plane here. So click this. Great sketch. I want to project this and click OK. Use the line tool. Draw a line from here to here. Click OK. Now we have two hemispheres here. Go ahead and finish sketch. Turn this plane back on. And we want to create a sketch on this plane. Use a fit point spline.
and finish sketch. Well, before I finish sketch, um, I need to use a project this line and click OK. Now we come over here to create, loft, select this, this, and this, and click OK. It turn the canvases off, and we have that. Now we'll do the vertical, turn the bodies off, we want to create a sketch on this plane, I'm going to draw another line, imagine this coming down into the fuselage here. And finish sketch. Again, we want an offset, excuse me, not offset, but a plane at an angle. So plane at an angle, this, and want this at zero degrees, which it is, and we click OK. I want to create a sketch on this plane I just created. So I click that plane, then I come over here, create sketch. Letter P for project first, and I want to project this point this point, and click OK. Now I'm just drawing an arbitrary um, airfoil here. If you have one, go ahead and use that instead of um, what I'm doing here but um, you're just going to trace it like I'm tracing this. Well, not directly tracing over it, but you're going to trace it um, like this. Draw a line here, here, click OK. Come up here to Mirror. This is a line, and click OK. Finish sketch. Now this looks big, but this is down in the fuselage, and it tapers up to get smaller as it comes up. Come over here to create sketch on this plane here. I'm going to draw a line from here to the top of here. And the same for the back. I may have made a mistake, and I did. So let me finish this. Come back to this sketch here. Excuse me. So I'm going to redraw this.
And going to mirror this line again. This is the uh, mirror line. Click OK, and we have that. OK. Now finish sketch. Create sketch on this plane. There's a line from here. Here. And click OK and finish sketch. Then come over here to create a sweep. This this, this is the path, this is the guide rail, full extents, click OK, we have that. You turn the sketches off here. Okay, that's looking really good. Do something here. I'd like to see a little break in here. Okay, now I'm going to do the wing, and the wing is done the same way. I just did the tail and everything. So let me turn these bodies off, create sketch on this plane here, draw a line here. Finish sketch, turn sketches back on. Then we want to have a plane at an angle. And it's selected already. And let's take a look at it from the front. And it looks like it should be, I don't know, three, level two, yes, three. Click OK. OK. Now what I want to do is draw this profile here. Move this back up. OK. Chris Sketch. Click the right profile, OK. Create sketch. You say fit point spline. Draw a line. And I'm going to mirror this. This is the mirror line. And click OK. 
finish sketch. I want to create a sketch on this plane. So line from here. There. To there. And I did the same thing like I did before I made this too long. I didn't come back to it um, and move it in. So we'll come back to that sketch. I believe it was this one. Okay, go ahead and delete this, and it should be a bunch of problems that should show down here up there. Okay, I'm going to do this all again. Just delete this. And we are here. I forgot to do this, move this line here to match this one. Then we create a sketch. This plane. Fit point spline. Line. Then we're going to mirror it again. And finish sketch. Turn this plane back on. I want to create a sketch on this plane. And a line from here. About there. Another line. OK. Move that there. Click OK. Move this one back. Let's see here to try something. i put a spline on here. See, can we pull this out even farther? There. And finish. Come up here to sweep this profile, this profile, this first one, guide rail. Now it won't let me do that, so what I'm going to do, 
reverse these and see will it do that. Now it lets me do that, okay? And we click OK. Now this is too thick. But what I'm going to do first is um, go ahead and finish this wing before fixing the thickness. I want to create a sketch on that plane there. P for project. That. Click OK. Draw a line from here to here. Click OK. Turn this plane back on. And we want to create a sketch on this plane. And fit point spline. And that is not right. So we'll go ahead and um, finish sketch here, but come down to here and delete this. And do that again. What I did, I created a sketch on the bottom of that plane, and it was the wrong one. So that's why it was messed up. But no problem. Create a sketch on this plane. Now it's correct plane. Okay. I want to create a sketch on this plane here. Project this, draw a line from here to here, two hemispheres now, and finish sketch. Turn this plane on. And I want to create a sketch on that plane. Fit point spline. Align. Project this line here. Finish sketch. And we're going to do a loft. And click OK. Now our wing is complete. Turn the canvases off. T 
turn the origin off and sketch this off. This is our plane. And come over here to create, mirror this, the mirror plane is this, new body, click OK. I'm going to mirror this too. All right. Now we have our plane. It's a cool looking plane. It uh, reminds me of um, um, pattern planes or the ultimate, um, that, um, not the ultimate, um, ultra, that um, Tower Hobbies and Hobby Co. and stuff like that used to sell in the past. Add a little more detail here. Turn the canvases on. Create a sketch on this plane. And use a fit point spline. Finish sketch. Split body. This is a body to split. Turn the canvases off, sketches. <coughs> and this is what we have. Pretty cool. Then if you want to, you can go further with color and stuff. Get yellow. And we have that. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this tutorial. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions on this or any um, other things, how to design, just um, leave them down in the comments and, um, or um, you can message me over on Facebook and the group is called CAD Build Fly RC. Also, um, you can message me on my Patreon site. Also, the site's name, um, the same thing. It's um, CAD Build Fly RC over there also. Or, um, so if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also if you could watch another video right after this It really helps my channel grow when you do that and um, 
uh, really appreciate you guys' support and uh, me doing these things. So that's going to do it. And if any of you guys want to see me uh, model the landing gear and stuff for this plane, just um, leave a comment down below. And um, yeah, so that's going to do it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.